My name is Abby Hinton. Um, I am 17. I go to Jerome School District. I am part of the 4-H and part of the Clever Clovers 4-H club. I have done pigs for my first year and then six years I did dairy heifer and then these past three years I switched over to market beef and so steers. So my steer's name is Knox. He is a Charlet. He came in weighing around 900 around that range and then we finished them off at 1390. I started with my steer I showed in the morning. I got here around 5.45ish. I washed them, got them prepared, groomed and everything. And then we kind of settled them in the barn for a little bit and then we got into the show ring. Um, he did phenomenal yesterday. We won our classes and then I won my quality and so yes, he got grand champion. He won it. <laughs> I'm Gus Dugan and I go to the Jerome High School and I am in uh, my sophomore year. I do FFA and 4-H. I was showing pigs today and I did pretty well. I got grand champion market hog and reserve grand champion showman. I woke up at 4.30 a.m. to get in here and I washed them. And then I walked them all the way to get all the wiggles out because if you don't, they'll run in the ring. You're just walking around the judge showing all sides of your pig, the rear, the front, and the other two sides. And you want to keep your pig under control and keep it right next to you. My name is Taylor Ann Callison. I am 17. I go to Marsing High School. I am also in their FFA and in their chapter office as well as district office and I show market and breeding goats. I got here bright and early at 6 a.m. to make sure that they had plenty of time to eat. I bathed them, I shampoo and conditioner and some whitening shampoo so they look pristine. And then I took them out here and I blow dry them off, fit them, make sure they look snazzy for the judge. After we do well, I take them and I spray some deconditioner so it takes out all the glue that I put in their legs to make them spiky. Make sure they get some snacks since they did so well and make sure they're all good. Hi, I'm Colton Smith from the Payet FFA chapter. I just recently graduated from Payet High School. I, uh, in FFA, I participate in our district and state competitions, as well as uh, show beef at the Payette County Fair. So this year I showed a beef steer. His name is Eeyore. Weighed in at 1,400 pounds, but he's puppy dog sweet. He's the, probably the greatest animal you could have asked for this year. I have to say that FFA has been really helpful for teaching me some of my leadership skills. A couple of years ago, if you had asked me to come up in front of a camera, I wouldn't have been able to. So it's really helped me come out of my shell that way and getting to meet a bunch of new people, travel around and uh, learn to do different activities. I uh, just get to see every little piece of agriculture available to me. So. FFA has really taught me to be a leader. I don't think I would be the leader that I am today if I didn't go through FFA. I've been taught to speak publicly, knowing that people are judging you while you're speaking and be confident even if I don't have any confidence. I started in the seventh grade and that taught me how to speak in front of judges and other people openly because I did conduct chapter meetings. I've had like a really great experience with FFA. There's been a lot of crazy moments. It's really pushed me outside of my comfort zone. I started from a really young age, so just having that experience growing up, it's really shaped me as a person and just helped me to become a better leader and be more confident in my skills and abilities. I don't know, I feel like everybody around me is super supportive because you can go up to anybody and ask to borrow anything or ask for help and they are more than grateful to help you around. And I think that it's really cool that we have a community that will just help you even though they don't even know you. I've been in 4-H and FFA basically my whole life. I've grown up around it. Really, it's like a second family. I really like hanging out with them. They're always there for me. FFA, if I ever need anything, I just have to text with the advisors and they'll they'll reach out and they'll have welcoming arms. Same thing with 4-H and with my leaders. Everything's gone good in there and I just, I just love both of them.
Valleywide has provided us our feed and has done amazing for our family. We've used it for the past two years for my steer and we started them on um, the starter and we finished them on the finisher, which has done works for our animal. It's so amazing that they provide that 4-H discount too. Um, we appreciate that because we go through so many bags of feed and we put so much into these animals and I just, I couldn't thank Valleywide enough for that. Faith Johnson. I am your Gooding Valley Wide Manager. We jump in and we help with all animals. We've got pretty much everything they need for any animal they're going to bring to fair to be able to put weight on their animal, to maintain their animal, to make sure they have the correct nutrients, antibiotics, vaccinations. So each child is given a 4-H membership card. They can come in, they produce it to us, they can ask for it at the counter. We give them a 10% off on any feed, clothing, um, any showmanship products that they need. We buy a lot of our stuff at the Valley Wide Country Store. We usually need like halters and a lot of sprays because it sprays to keep them all shiny and green. We actually get our shavings that we have at the fair from Valley Wide Co-op and they are so amazing. They're just all around a really good company. They really care about the kiddos. We also have a rush of contestants that come in a week to two weeks prior, let me know that they're bringing their animals to let us know to kind of look out for them, which really helps us in the aspect as well because both Valley Egg and Valley Wide come together and we like to sit through all the shows, watch everybody show their animals. We do bidding. A lot of the times we purchase an animal, if not, we like to do add-ons. We go through all of our customers we've seen throughout the year and we like to add on. It's our way of thanking the kids for coming in and supporting us by turning around and supporting them. Mm -hmm.